been joined by some cast from Nativity the Musical. Um, who are you and who are you playing? You go first. Okay, hello. Hello. My, sorry. Well, that's okay. <laughs> no, you go first. Oh, well, yeah. well, you keep talking. Well, I'll do it first then. I'm trying to. Off you go. Sorry. Hello. Hello. My, my name. You're still doing it's it. It's not a problem, is it? So. <laughs> I play uh, Mr. Maddens and my name is Scott Garnham. Hello. My name is Simon. That's too loud. It's a little bit loud. A bit loud. Yeah. <laughs> my name is Simon Lipkin and I play uh, Mr. The, Mr. The, the, Mr. The Poppy. My name is Mr. The Poppy. P to the O to the double P Y. Yeah, it's great. Oh, Mr. Poppy's in the room. Mr. Poppy's in the room. Yeah. Um, so is Mr. So Maddens. Mr. Maddens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, you could just sorry. got a tie and everything. Can <laughs> I just do that? That's, that's perfect. If we carry on the interview from there. No, 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 too far. <laughs> so why is it you think people can't get enough of the Nativity story? Like, what is it about it? Why you just keep this back on the road again? What yeah. is it about it? I really like the way um, that Mrs. Potts sings to Chip in the that, first that's act. That's heartwarming, isn't it? Yes. I think mean, that's a different film. Oh. Which one is it? This is Nativity. What were you, what was I doing? That was Beauty and the Beast. Beauty. Was it? Yeah, yeah, this is Nativity then. No, you do it then. That's... What? Okay. Uh, I think it's got a lot of heart. It's um, it's, it's very, very, very funny. Um, there's a beast. There's, a, there's not a beast. No beast. That's a different film. Mr. Poppy. Mr. Poppy. Mr. Poppy's a beast. Yeah. Um, and the kids are amazing, honestly. Um, Chip. No, <laughs> that's the wrong <laughs> film. Wrong one. That's the wrong film. Cool. It's a lot of heart, some fantastic songs. Uh, it's one, it's big, you know, massive Christmas spectacular. Taylor's oldest. Still doing it. <laughs> Still doing it. It's a fun Christmas show. So what is it you guys love about Christmas? What do I love about Christmas? Well, I tell you what, it's hard for what, what we do because we're normally working. Because yeah. obviously yeah. people come and see shows at Christmas time. And as actors, you tend to be employed in some capacity around Christmas. But I think I like, um, I like my, my nan's cooking yeah. and I like being oh. with my family yeah. uh, and my wife and my dog. All that stuff is really lovely. So I like Christmas at a time we all just get together. I don't have a wife or a dog, so I'm lonely. Oh, oh so that's you, not true. So we, we could, but you we have could played do dogs on stage before. That's true. So yes, that is true. That is true. Dog. That, that, yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I mean, Christmas is amazing, and I think what's amazing about Nativity is that it sums up everything that you love about that. Everything that you want, that festive feeling, that joyous thing. If you don't want to go and watch your own child's nativity show, come and watch this one because it actually had some thought put into it. <laughs> you played this part before last yeah, time, yeah, did you? And you've got a film coming up. I do. Yeah. You're the new Mr. Pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to go on about it, but in yeah. cinemas soon. So yeah, whatever. Release date? Twenty uh, third of November. Haven't Appar memorised. Apparently, apparently. What is your ideal stocking stuffer? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to find in your stocking yes. on Christmas morning? Ah, wow. That's even more loaded, isn't it? <laughs> uh, how big's a stocking? So what are we talking like, about? Give me a like ratio. Is this like stage door bring you chocolate? No, I'm not, I'm not asking for anything. I'm just, I'm just, I'm <laughs> not, but if you didn't want to bring chocolate, we wouldn't decline it. Yeah, hashtag decline. not sponsored, not sponsored, by the way. Not yeah. sponsored, yeah. not sponsored. But yeah, uh, I, quite like chocolate. I quite like a game. I quite like a silly yeah, actually, game. Yeah, yeah, we both like a silly game. Well, we've got a silly game for you right now. Should we play a silly game? We're going to play a silly game. Can I ask you a question, though? Has it got a theme song? Okay. You've got between you ten, ten seconds, seconds. Oh to name all nine of Santa's reindeer. Okay. You reckon okay. you've got this? Mm. Right. Yeah. If you win, if you get it, there's a little there's, there's prize. A prize. Okay. Okay. Right. okay, so ready, set. Oh, we're gonna overlap though, aren't we? Well, it's go. Okay, it's alright, we're keeping an eye. So okay. Dasher, Dancer, Donna, Blitzen, Prance, Prance, Prancer, Prancer. Comet, five seconds. Cupid, Cupid. Uh, Rudolph, yeah, um, uh, uh, Blitzen, um, uh, Dasha, Donna, Prancer, Blitzen, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Blitzen. No, we've got to cut no. you off. Oh, you were one, one short. You were one, one short. One short. One short. Vixen. Vixen. Oh, Gutted. Why did you miss Vixen? 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 Look, guys, there's no blame here. You were in to get. You've got to take the loss. So these are the cast of Nativity. It's been great having them here. We're just going to let them fight it out amongst themselves. But yeah, come and see Nativity. Eve, what do you think is the, the the earliest or most suitable time you're allowed a mulled wine? Oh, it's five <laughs> o'clock somewhere, everywhere, <laughs> isn't it? Uh, Christmas <laughs> Eve, you've got to wait till Christmas well, Eve. Well, you're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like Christmas, this is the gift that keeps on giving because we've got more <laughs> cast members for your enjoyment. Please, number one, say who you are and who you play. Hello, I'm Ashley Gray and I play Jennifer Law. And you, young man. <laughs> I'm Andy Brady and I play Gordon Shakespeare. What is it you feel is about Nativity that people can't get enough of? Because you're going back on the road again, mm -hmm. there's movies coming out, people love this story. Why? I think it's more, why not, you know, um, I think, uh, I sadly didn't get to see the show last year, but even just from the uh, three weeks that we've been in the rehearsal room, I laugh till I cry, yeah. and I cry until I can cry no more. <laughs> What's your ideal stocking stuffer? Oh, oh. You know, it's funny, I never had stockings growing up.
growing up. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was right. like, deprivation. I know. Mother. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was a, it was a tradition that kind of escaped us really, um, and it's only now as an adult that I do it, and I love it. It's my favourite thing about Christmas. Yeah. What do you like to find in a stocking on Christmas morning? Um, I like little like like trivia cards that oh. you can bring something okay. to the Christmas a table. Bit of, oh. a, bit of, like, a bit of fun. Bit of fun. Bit of fun. Mine's yeah. pants and socks. Oh. Socks are the I mean, thing that keeps our. Yeah, I mean, I know that. I know it's boring, but you need them. Yeah. <laughs> and after a year, after last Christmas, you you worn them out. And so. you don't want to buy them yourself, really. It's no. not one of those shopping you know experiences. Yeah, you know yeah, they're, they're coming. coming so yeah. yeah. I remember seeing you, Ashley, in Betwixt at the oh, Travel Bus Road Studios, which has got a connection to the show in the way of George Dyer. Yes. Mm. Who was your MD on that show? He was, Orchestrations yes. on this. Yes. Uh, he's a great talent. It must be lovely to work with him. It really is. Yeah, it's lovely. And actually, we had the sits probe for the show on Saturday. Friday, Saturday, yeah. um, which is the first time when the cast um, hear all the band together and the orchestrations. And I believe George has um, knocked a few new ones out of the park yes. this time. And he's, mm. he has excelled himself. Yeah. It sounds brilliant. It sounded so, amazing, yes. didn't it? Dasher. Donna. Dancer. Bixen. Prancer. Blitzen. Mm. Comet. Yeah. Yes. Cupid. Rudolph. That's, That's it. it. You've yeah, got yeah. a nine. Well yeah. done, guys. Do you know what? Just for you. <gasps> Prize. A little chocolate. Oh, oh, dude. Hashtag not sponsored. No. Not, <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> why should people come and see Nativity and why should they see it here in Coventry? Yeah. Well, this is where it's, you know, this is yeah. where it's from. The show's originated from. So there'll be, you know, we've got the set at the, the Coventry Cathedral, you know, there's bits, bits and mobs that everyone will recognise. So specifically here is, is a brilliant place to see it. Yeah. Um, and come because it's, like Ashley said, it's like full, full of fun. You will laugh, you'll laugh your head off, but you'll also cry. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. It's, it's got such touching It's full of Christmas moments. joy and surprises and, um, you know, fantastic performances from the kids. And yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it's really special. So exciting. Well, thank you so much for spending yeah. some thank time you. with us. What time do you think it's acceptable on Christmas Eve to have your first mulled wine? I usually say about noon. noon? Yeah. <laughs> what time do you get up? Like yeah, quarter to twelve? <laughs> about quarter to twelve. Yeah. Well, we're here with the writer and director of Nativity the Musical, Debbie Isaac. Debbie, we saw your 101 Dalmatians last year. Great. The Little Leggers, our little ones, they saw it twice. They loved it that much. <gasps> I think it was about four years ago. I was thinking, do you know what? People keep saying to me, this could be a musical. This could be on the stage. And I thought, do you know what? Yeah, it could. So we started um, a workshop to try and create it as a, as a stage show. And then that sort of went away again, and I went back to filmmaking. And then one day, out of the blue, I got a call from Jamie Wilson Productions. Oh. And they said, are the rights available? Would you like to do a stage show? And I said, I would, as long as I can be a part of it. Of course. I don't want to hand it over, because like, it's your baby. It's my baby. Okay. I've lived in Coventry all my adult life, and I love it here. And the film is obviously set here, the whole story's set here. and. I'm so excited. Like, I'm actually quite emotional about it. Because it's an emotional show. It is an emotional show, but I think lots of the kids are local. Well, all of the kids are local, actually. And some of them are definitely from Coventry. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of feel like they are so amazing, these kids. And when the parents come and see them, they're just going to be, like, in heaven. Other than the nativity and your yeah. beautiful writing, what is it that you think breeds such talent? What is it about Coventry that does that? I don't know. Coventry's always had this kind of underground movement of talent. Ever since I moved here when I was about 17, it really felt like a, a hotbed of, of unique young people trying to make great theatre and exciting work and great music. I suppose when I turned up in Coventry, it was all the two-tone stuff. Yeah. So I sort of came straight into the middle of Scar and it was just amazing then. And it's just always had brilliant little theatre companies, brilliant writers, actors, directors probably, I don't know. <laughs> You leave us a comment if you are seeing the show anywhere. It's going out on a big tour. Yeah. It's been out before, but this time it's hitting all, all, new, yeah, all venues. new venues. Um, the Coventry Belgrade are playing from the 23rd. To the 28th of October. Yes. And then it'll be in Liverpool, Glasgow, Milton Keynes, Nottingham, Edinburgh, Stoke-on-Trent, Oxford. Yes. And then Christmas, it'll be in London. Yeah, at the Apollo Hammersmith. So no excuses, guys. Yes, See the show.